It's tempting to characterize the traditional flagship cars, the large, top-of-the-line sedans such as BMW 7 Series and Mercedes-Benz S-Class, as the ultimate embodiment of brand values. But at Bayer Ish Motor and Worka, that mantle rests on the F5 and the M3. For the better part of 30 years, these sports sedan profits have spread the good word through light-footed athleticism, steering feedback, and soulful engines. More recently, though, they have walked away from BMW dogma, the latest versions being more aloof, less feeling speed machines. The sixth coming of the M5, internally known as F90, is BMW's latest interpretation of its own holy creed and a reminder that, in this automotive era of rapid evolution, nothing is sacred. This 600 horsepower sledgehammer is the first M car equipped with all wheel drive excepting the X5M and X6M SUVs. It's also the first M5 that will not be offered with the manual transmission. We muttered a few profanities the first time we read those details about the drivetrain. Then we actually drove the 2018 BMW M5, and hallelujah spilled from our lips. You will saw at the steering wheel as you balance the M5 at its cornering limits and the rear end wriggles under hard straight line braking. Trail brake it toward the apex, balance the car on the throttle, tighten your line by lifting. This is engaged driving and fun. Those attributes were largely absent from the stoic F10 generation M5. While it's not a return to full form, the new M5 is a solid step toward redeeming that last generation car, which placed third out of three in its only comparison test appearance. The electronically controlled clutch pack technically could send equal amounts of torque to the front and rear axles, but an M engineer told us the computers never issue such a command. They always favor the rear wheels, which is evident in the overtly rear wheel drive nature of the F5's dynamics. In its 4WD sport setting with the stability control and M dynamic mode, the M5 pivots neatly under power on corner exit. In a very way, it feels like a well balanced rear drive car, even more than the outgoing M5, which actually is rear wheel drive. This new M5 can be rear wheel drive, too. Although you'll have to fully disable the stability control before you can access that setting in the iDrive system. BMW calls it 2WD mode, but it just as accurately could have called it drift mode, as Mercedes AMG does with the E63 S. The new M5's engine won't tie your ankle tendons to the throttle plate of a 500 horsepower V10 as the E60 M5 did a dozen years ago. Nor will it worm its way into your psyche in the same way as the free-breathing 4.9-liter V8 from the E39 generation car. We're rapidly moving away from the era when factory hot rods are made using a warehouse's worth of special hardware. The turbochargers and transmissions that grease fuel economy tests for volume models are the same building blocks for modern performance cars. The M5 is one of more than 10 current BMW models built around a twin-turbo 4.4-liter V8, an 8-speed automatic transmission, and a rear-biased all-wheel drive system. There's also the 456-horsepower M550i X-Drive that BMW sells at a more than $30,000 discount to the F5. Admittedly, the M5's engine features a long list of hardware changes from the F550i's version and has an entirely different engine code, an evolution of the S63 T0 that powered the outgoing car. The new M5's power plant wears new turbochargers making 24.5 pounds per square inch of boost, up from 21.8 in the old M5, and it sprays fuel into the cylinders at higher pressures. Its 600 horsepower is an increase of 40 over the outgoing car, while peak torque rises from 502 to 553 pounds to feet. That may not sound all that impressive in an era when it takes 700 horsepower to really raise eyebrows, 
But the M5 launches down a highway on ramp with the authority and unrelenting thrust of a Saturn V rocket. It should clip 60 miles per hour in 3.1 seconds. The engine broadcasts a more complex and slightly hollow thunder that sounds more convincing than the bassy monotone of the last car. A pair of butterfly valves in the exhaust modulate the tone. Yet when you deactivate the exhaust sport mode, the audible sensation is one of wires being yanked out of a couple of low fidelity speakers. In 2018, the character of an M car stems not just from what's added to the donor metal but also from what's removed. In the case of this M5, that results in a much purer sport sedan closer to M's founding beliefs. There is no planetary gear set that varies the steering ratio with vehicle speed, no active anti roll bars. No rear wheel steering. Those heavy handed chassis technologies react to the road so the driver doesn't have to, and in turn they over manage the 5 series into an indifferent and inert car. BMW claims this new M5 is lighter than last year's model, a remarkable feat considering the triple digit weight penalty of the all wheel drive system. The savings come from a lighter body shell with a standard carbon fiber roof and relentless attention to detail throughout the rest of the car. Optional carbon ceramic brakes will save an additional 51 pounds and should be considered a mandatory buy for anyone visiting the track in this 4,350 pounder. The brake pedal quickly went soft during our day lapping Portugal's old Formula One circuit, although our braking points on the track remain fairly consistent. The 2018 BMW M5 is born again chassis dynamics suggest that the M division is turning back toward its faith in driver engagement, but M is after all, a subordinate organization of the bigger enterprise, and, as such, the division's complete redemption is only possible if the larger BMW brand can find the same religion and infuse it into the core products.